Hey y'all, I'm super excited to bring you through a clothing haul from Fabletics today. Now, I've made an order with Fabletics in the past and I wasn't super impressed, but that was over a year ago. And I'm super excited to see if they've upped their quality at all, upped their customer service at all, or their business model. So, let's jump right into the clothes. This order came in two separate packages and they came like three weeks apart, which was very, very odd. So this is package number one, lots of colorful. Here's what I'll say, I got so many clothes and it was so cheap. It was unbelievably cheap for how many clothes I got. So, I mean, I guess I kind of have high hopes. I hope that I like some of the stuff in here because even if I only like like 50% of it, that is still pretty worth it. Okay, let's get changed. Okay, we're starting things off with the one short. I actually kind of like these. They're kind of funky, you know? They've got zippers on the sides. They've got a little place to put your shirt. Nice little drawstring. Honestly, the drawstring is a better quality than most like higher end shorts, even though these were quite cheap. Yeah, I like these. Do a couple squats in them. First item, pretty impressed. <laughs> these are the fundamental pants. You know, these kind of feel like something my dad would wear to the YMCA. Nothing too special about this. I don't really like the fit of them. The wide leg at the bottom, not a big fan. Cheaper zipper, lighter material. These are definitely a no for me. Okay, so these are that one short as well, but this time they're lined, and I kind of like the liner. It feels nice and snug. Seems good quality. I like that it matches the drawstring. What is this tiny little pocket for? It's so small. What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, well, funny. You know, I don't love the color of these. Normally I, like, I really like a green, but these are like kind of an off-putting green and we're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> and these are the only shorts. So these are a little bit less fitnessy and a little bit more everyday. And these actually fit really well. They look like khaki, even though they're a little bit more of an athletic material. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be keeping these. These are actually really, really nice. I feel like the butt looks nice. They've got a zipper pocket here. I don't think that I'd really use that one too much because it seems a little flimsy. I'm weirdly impressed with these. Big fan. And lastly, we've got the fundamental hat from this part of the order, at least. Feels like it fits pretty nicely. I'm not really the biggest hat guy. I used to have to be when I was growing my hair out, but I kind of like it. I like the color for sure. And that it's so simple. Seems like it'd be super fast drying. Yeah, this is a yes for me. Hmm. First part of the order, even though this is the small part, I'm quite impressed with. Okay, let's try it part two. Okay, we've got some tights. We'll put those on last. And some underwear, we'll also put those on last. Okay, a nice crew neck. Let's check it out. Ooh, very soft. Okay, this is the go-to crew. It fits really well. It's very, very soft, very comfortable. I think it looks actually really nice with these shorts. Okay, okay. Whoa. These are bright. So, 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 what to say? I don't like the color, they're way too bright for me. But I will say, you know, like, I'm surprised that the cut is actually pretty nice. I think just because having the tapered ankle is really obviously nice. I like the jogger look. The material is still, still pretty thin. You know, they've got zippers here, but it feels like they're about to break every time. You know, yeah, these are kind of a pass for me. Okay, this is the training day tee. It's a fine material, it's nice and stretchy. It feels like it actually would get a little hot and heavy once you start to sweat in it, but the cut is pretty nice. Uh, the pattern is kind of fun. I like the color of it. Anti-stink and anti-wicking. <laughs> I think it's a fine tee. I think I've definitely had better. So 64% nylon, 36% polyester. I'd say we're looking for a little bit higher percent of nylon in these athletic shirts, but it's fine. I would say leave this one at home. I gotta move for a second. Gotta get out of frame while I put these on. <laughs> okay, these are the three quarter baseline tights and they were surprisingly difficult to get on. They're a little too tight, I would say. Uh, so maybe I needed to size up here. Um, they've got a nice little phone pocket. I don't know what I think about these. I don't really know when I would use them. They're not like a thick material that would be like nice in winter. And I don't know if I would ever like need to have the rest of my leg covered in other times of the year. So I don't think these are super functional. They're, they're just fine. You can tell that like other brands have made much better tights. So I'd probably stick with those. Okay, and this is the training day long sleeve. It's the same version of that t-shirt that I was just wearing. So it's that same material. It's a little bit thicker. I can't really imagine sweating too much in it, especially anytime other than like the deep of winter, but it has a pretty good fit and the color is pretty nice. So I would say I like this more than the short sleeve, but I still have had other training 
shirts that I've liked way more than these. So if you're on a budget, this is a great one. Otherwise, I would say save your money for a little bit higher quality that's gonna stick around a little bit longer. And lastly, we've got the Blueprint Boxer Brief, which I really like. They're super soft, they fit very, very well. They're not too tight, but they're also not too loose. I think there would be a great material to work out in. These are an absolute yes for me. Okay, but now for the real test. Let's do a little workout. Okay, I picked my winners. Okay, I didn't work out in these, but they're a winner regardless. These shorts, game changer. Super cheap, but super nice quality. And you can dress them up, dress them down. You could work out in them, but they're just a nice, casual pair of shorts. Crew neck, looks super nice. And as long as you don't dry it, it's gonna continue looking nice. So even pairing it with those shorts, I'm a big fan. Both of the one shorts, this version and the lined version that I'm wearing right now are really great. I kind of like the unlined version more just because I like it more stylistically, but also just because I don't need a liner. I always wear underwear underneath my shorts. So I kind of like the unlined version. And lastly, get a hat. Nice, right? Last thing I just want to double check is that I have everything. I'd say it was like 50-50 what I liked and what I didn't like, which is better than the last time that I did a Fabletics order. I was still pretty annoyed. Yep, it looks like I have everything. That's great. Oh, and I really like the boxers. Big fan of the boxers. Definitely keeping these. They're nice quality. But the thing that really annoys me about Fabletics is that it has like a VIP program. It's a subscriber base. So you have to pay, I think it's 60 bucks a month and you get like some credits for that but it's just like encouraging you to keep on buying and buying and buying. So I still have to go through and like try and cancel that $60 a month charge because I don't want to keep on doing it. And it's just complicated. The site is horrible. You know, how long it took me to get these clothes was really annoying. So it's funny because I spent $165 on all of this, but it is pretty low quality and it's really annoying. So you kind of got to take the good and the bad. So I hope this was helpful. Fabletics is a great option to get some really trendy and good looking fitness clothes at a low cost. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below with what you want me to review next. And I'll see you next time.